Hey there everybody, Electro here, and today I'm just going to talk a bit about how you can use send effects and what the difference is between a send effect and an insert effect. So as we can see, I have two delays here. Uh, this delay would be an insert effect because it's running right from the output of my instrument straight to the mixer. Whereas this one is a send effect, and what that means is it's routing through the effects channel of the mixer. Now, uh, because I'm doing this, I can actually use the send effect in a way that the insert effect cannot be used. So I'm going to show you quickly what I mean. So you notice after I put the aux knob down and cut the effect off, it keeps sort of trailing off. And you can't do that with an insert effect. So I'll show you what I mean. You notice when I put the level knob up uh, and then back down, it just cuts off the sound right away. Whereas with the send effect, uh, we can still hear the send going on. Uh, let me add a reverb and uh, show you another example of what I mean by that. And we'll set it to a large room size. Make sure when you are putting your send effects to turn your level knob all the way to the right. That makes the effect completely wet, which means that all you're going to hear is the effect and not the original instrument. So there, I hope you noticed a little more. Let's uh, do the same thing with our instrument. So there you can really clearly notice uh, the difference between using the send effect and the insert effect. Now, there's a couple more things you can do besides that that make use of having the send. The first thing you can do is actually effect the effect. And what I mean by that is if I had this reverb and slope in this order on this instrument, uh, First, it would apply reverb, and then it would apply the slope. But having it in this way means that I can have the original instrument playing and use the slope on just the reverb instead of the reverb and the instrument. So I'm just going to show you what I mean. So you'll notice that you can still hear the original instrument uh, being played while I mess with the effects. But that's another interesting thing you can do with send effects. Uh, the last reason you'd want to use a send effect instead of an insert effect is if you want to share uh, an effect across different instruments. This is most common when you use reverb because it gives you the same reverb for all your different instruments which kinda unifies your mix a bit and makes it sound a bit better and of course if you're also trying to save uh, a lot of space in your project and make things more efficient it can be better to use the send effects just to share one effect across more than one instrument instead of using a bunch of the same effect like this on all your instruments anyways uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful this is Electro signing out.